Don Shooter dropping the mic on his political career yesterday following a three-month investigation into sexual harassment. But some of Shooter's former colleagues are convinced there is more to the story. According to this report and according to the investigators, there were potential unlawful acts, and I want those thoroughly investigated. Representative Anthony Kern is not referring to Shooter, but a lobbyist named Brian Townsend, who's listed in the report as Michelle Eugenti Rita's fiance. I will be drafting a letter to the Attorney General and the Maricopa County Attorney in response to an alleged unwelcome harassing and offensive communication by a Mr. Brian Townsend. Eugenti Rita was the first woman to publicly accuse Shooter of harassment when she sat down with me in November. According to the 82-page report, Townsend admitted to sending unsolicited, sexually explicit communications. The report does not identify who received those communications, but says Townsend acted alone when he committed the egregious and potentially unlawful acts. I support Mr. Kern's efforts to get more information. I have spoken to the investigator. The investigator has offered himself up to answer any questions. State Representative Maria Sims today voicing her support for an investigation into a possible violation of the state's revenge porn law. That law bans sending illicit, non-consensual images online. I said that right now is probably not the time uh, in the wake of, of the expulsion, but over the next week or so, I think a number of us are going to have questions and may sit down with the investigator to get some clarification on those things. And a potential revenge porn investigation, but it depends on a couple of factors here. One, a cooperating victim. Now, is Eugenti Rita going to cooperate with authorities in this matter? And two, the Attorney General's office tells me timing could be a big issue. Uh, where, when, and wh when were these sexually explicit communications sent? Because the state's revenge porn law went into effect in 2016, guys.